What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dorn Finger Firestarter. This is a new speed pad, though it's similar to other things out there on the market, it is kind of unique in its own way, but is this going to be the perfect gaming mouse pad for you? Let's check it out. Before we get started today, I did want to let you know these were sent out to Gen3D Tech. He did supply me with this sample. However, everything you're going to be hearing in this video today is going to be my own words and my own opinions. This does arrive flat packaged and it does come in this envelope style packaging, so nice and easy to store if you need to do so. The dimensions are coming in at 500 millimeters in width by 500 millimeters in height, and this is sitting at 3.8 millimeters in thickness. It is using an alpha cell base, and alpha cell kind of has a reputation for having a little bit of slower rebound properties, and it kind of feels a little bit more muddy even though this does feel like it does sink in and it kind of gives you a little bit more control properties i don't feel like there was a time with the way that this pad performs where it felt like it was inconsistent or it was too muddy or anything like that so overall i do feel like perhaps the fact that this is a little bit thicker or even something to do with the process on how this is made i'm not exactly sure i didn't seem to come across those issues when i was using this but it does have a mirrored finish on the back and it's incredibly sticky it did stick to my desk nice and well and i literally have to pick it off in order to be able to move this around. The stitching was done very well from edge to edge. It looks very premium and it does sit slightly below the surface. They do have their logo down here in the bottom right hand corner and is raised up off the surface. So if you were to go over there, you can actually feel it on your skates. So when it comes to the surface, this is a very smooth feeling to the touch. And in fact, the very first thing that I thought when I got this out of the box and started using it, is it honestly feels very similar to the Lamzu Energon. If you were to rub your fingers along the X and the Y axis, there is a very very minimal texture there and you get a very smooth glide when you're using this so very similar in the properties even to the Energon you do have very low static friction and even the dynamic friction on this thing it is pretty quick overall the difference that this does offer however with this alpha cell base is I really do enjoy this base a lot with the performance of it it kind of makes this pad just like feel a bit more stretchy a little bit more loose and a little bit more open I was testing the surface out out a lot with the Razer Viper Mini Signature Edition for those of you that have used that mouse. You know it has a reputation for sinking into pads very easily and scratching the bottom. I didn't really notice so much of an issue with this. It does kind of have a little bit more of a firmer feeling to the surface, but just the second you start putting weight on your mouse and gliding around, it does kind of give in just a little bit. Again, it doesn't feel too sinky, but you kind of can feel it adding to the properties. So even though I would categorize this as a very fast pad due to the way that the base feels, it never feels like there's a time where I was, it felt too slippery or I was losing a type of control. And even the other types of pads that this is very similar to as far as in the speed category goes, I do feel like out of all of them, like the Lambs Energon and even even the 414 arrow that this does offer a bit more control not only down in the static with the micro adjustments but even along the dynamic friction it's very easy to push in this and stop and again without getting too much of that sinking feeling to where it was scratching the bottom of my mice so when putting it side by side with the lambs energon again just touching the surface they have that very similar feeling but i do feel like on the surface of the energon is kind of stretched out a little bit more and it does feel a bit more firm so you do have a little bit quicker of the rebound and elastic properties where again on this one it just kind of feels a little bit more open a little bit more soft so when going back and forth between these two the big thing that i notice is the energon again it feels stiffer so you do notice a bit of a quicker glide there it feels like it has a little bit less of the dynamic and the static friction although these are very similar to one another when it comes to the overall performance so let's just go ahead and drop the glide test between both of them all right so next up when looking at it next to the 414 arrow kind of the same thing with the energon versus the dorn finger i do feel like this surface it does feel a bit more tight and just a little bit more firm you have a little quicker of the elastic rebound properties coming from the arrow so when comparing these to one another even though the speed on these is similar i do feel like the arrow does feel a bit quicker you do have a little bit less of the static and dynamic friction where the dorn finger just feels a little bit softer and it kind of gives you a little bit greater sense of control and stopping power. So let's go ahead and drop the glide test comparison between both of them. All right guys, so that wraps things up on the Dorn Finger Fire Starter. I honestly wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this, especially with it having the alpha cell base. But for those of you that watch the channel and know what I'm into, I really do love the 414 Arrow, the Lambs with Energon. Those are two of my favorite speed pads of all time. I still use them frequently to this day. I really do feel like this is an incredible pad and I don't feel like I'm really getting 
getting the exact same experience I do get with those. I do kind of feel like this does offer something a little bit different with filling the amount of control you get and the sinking in, but it has just such a smooth surface that the micro adjustments when you're using this in game, it really is effortless. So the performance of this really is great. No matter what game I was using, I didn't find for me personally with my style, even though I'm on a faster end of the spectrum with mouse pads, that any type of game that I played, whether it's tax shooters or whatnot, Honestly, this pad seemed to work really good in. So it really just comes down to your personal preference. The speed on the surface, it really does feel the same across any type of skates you're using, whether you're using the, the dot skates or the larger skates. It still does offer that same type of speed with the low static and the dynamic friction. With the corner skates, it probably does sink in just a little bit more, give you a little bit extra control and stopping power with a slight bit of a faster glide. But I must say that all in all, I absolutely love this thing. I'm gonna be keeping this in my rotation of my top mouse pads for the time being since it just falls right in line with what I prefer to use. And honestly, I don't notice any type of downsides or negatives when I'm using this as far as like the base being too muddy, too sinky or anything like that. So if you are also looking for something in that same type of realm of performance and you have the availability to pick this up, then I can absolutely say I would recommend checking it out. All right guys, so if you have any questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video and are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.